This mission set that we have in SMBC is extremely critical. A lot of it there, yes, it is classified, but when it comes to protecting our nation and our allied forces, that's what's important uh, overall. Uh, so we don't have another 911. Space enabler and professional perspective, what we do to provide support to the war fighters is paramount. Uh, from imagery to uh, near real time early warning um, to getting information out to those soldiers on the ground that are currently kicking in doors or coordinating for efforts. The United States has infinite technology. I mean, we are on the cutting edge of everything. Um, unfortunately, the places where the Army goes, we don't have the infrastructure to support that technology. With space, we can provide that warfighter with what they need. Well, what I do as a planner is look for the new activities, exploration things that we can apply to the warfighters that are out in the field. As an example, Tax.3, where we can use that data to help them discover things about the battlefield that they don't know. It allows them to answer uh, specific questions that they may have about the enemy a little bit more detailed than what they may get through the normal channel by taking more of an advanced approach to imagery analysis. But we also get to support DISCA operations. For example, Hurricane Ike, we stood up to a 24-hour operation and we were able to make products that went out to that NORTHCOM commander and really helped out the civilian population as well. The mission of the commercial imagery team is actually providing unclassified commercial imagery to pretty much anyone. We support coalition, we support pretty much any MACOM. We can provide to governmental agencies, special operations, Afghan National Army, Iraqi National Army. So because it's unclassified, we can reach a broader audience. Friendly force tracking um, adds a layer of command and control and situational awareness to the commanders on the ground and tracking where their forces are. That also helps to prevent fratricide in the battlefield gives a combat commander an opportunity of knowing, uh, having situational awareness and knowing where all of his forces are at. Uh, Joint Forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, he can see on a single common operational picture where all the units are at, all the elements uh, out in harm's way and be able to maneuver folks uh, to complete the mission. SATCOM is important to the joint community because uh, a system like WGS enables information to transfer faster than it did in some of our legacy systems. So if information can be moved faster, decisions can be made faster, and that's one of the tangible benefits that WGS brings to the warfighter. WGS is a, is a joint mission in that we provide satellite communications to the joint warfighter, to the COCOMs, the services and agencies, and we provide a greater capability and flexibility than was provided on a defense satellite communication system. Every day we are providing a greater capability to the warfighter to fight the good fight. The soldiers uh, that work in my unit are satellite network controllers. They're the ones that monitor the health and the welfare of the satellites and also communications over the satellite. So we make sure that the warfighter is getting quality communications out there on the ground. We enable them to uh, get the reach back they need, get the, uh, the communications that they need between uh, not only deployed units but uh, back to the states, back to those higher-ups, uh, back to the Pentagon. I think that what I do is not only important to the Army, but important to the nation as a whole, in that all of the soldiers of the 49th Missile Defense Battalion, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, stand vigilant to protect and defend the people of the United States of America against an intercontinental ballistic missile attack. Our mission that we have in missile defense is a, is a critical mission. It's a mission that I like to say I get paid to do something that hopefully I never have to do. Um, we, have a, we have a bunch of warfighters that are extremely diligent and well trained and part of my job is to make sure that they, ma they maintain their readiness and stay well trained. We provide uh, TDM early warning to the warfighter as well as combat commanders. 
My job's important in the Army because it gives the soldiers downrange a heads up of when missiles are headed towards them. What I like most about being an Army is the opportunity to train, mentor, and motivate soldiers to become leaders. JTAGS is a system that it operates as part of U.S. STRATCOM's theater event system that provides space-based ballistic missile warning to the combatant commanders. JTAG system itself is a key part of a layered defense and it is also the only system in Department of Defense that is in the theater with the, uh, with the combatant commander and directly downlinking that information there into the theater to provide that warning. There's no higher responsibility than to protect the people of this country from danger. We've added many critical protections to guard the homeland. We find ourselves debating the causes of conflict and the course we have followed. The one question has surely been settled. That to win the war on terror, we must take the fight to the enemy. Even as we make difficult decisions about going to war, we must also think clearly about how we fight it. And even as we confront a vicious adversary that abides by no rules, I believe the United States of America must remain a standard bearer in the conduct of war.